Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up and speed up your Galaxy S5 Active. Now, when your Galaxy S5 comes out of the box, it has a lot of little quirks that you might wanna get rid of, and it doesn't move actually as quick as it can. Every time you hit certain buttons, it's just slower, and it just doesn't seem it's as good as this phone can be. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up. First thing you want to do is get rid of My Magazine if you don't see a use for it, because a lot of people don't. So we're going to pinch to zoom, and then we're going to hit the home screen settings and disable My Magazine. This will first allow you to spin around, and as you can see, it's already moving a bit quicker than it was. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to go into settings, and we're gonna scroll all the way down and go to About Device. When we go here, we're gonna scroll up again, and then we're gonna hit this here, Build Number. We're gonna keep tapping that seven times, and it'll tell you three more times, two more times, one more time, until you get Developer Options. When you get Developer Options, you're gonna go back, and Developer Options, it'll probably scroll you all the way to the top. You go all the way back, and go to Developer Options. From here, you're gonna turn this on, it might warn you, hey, you know, don't do anything here unless you know what you're doing. And we're gonna scroll up till we get to three things that say animation and scale. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Now we're gonna hit each of these and make them to 0.5x. What this does is it halves every movement your phone makes so that your phone now moves quicker. So we will notice a speed improvement in comparing to how it just was. So everything will start to move much quicker as time goes by in comparison to how it originally was. Now that we have that, there's one more thing to get rid of, and that is S-Voice. So S-Voice is identical pretty much to Siri, but I greatly prefer Google Now. The fact that you can say, okay, Google, What's the population of Los Angeles? The population of Los Angeles County was 9.9. And you can see it's very accurate and really good. And you can still say call this person, text this person, everything like that with Google. However, the S voice slows down your phone. So we're going to hit next. And we're going to hit agree and next again. Then we're going to click Start S Voice. From here, we're going to hit the menu button, go to Settings, and hit Open via Home Key. What this will now do is make your home press itself quicker. So you'll start to notice as you go into Apps, your home press will now be quicker than it was before. And it, again, will learn from what you're doing. Now, although that we've sped up the phone now and it works a lot faster, there's one more thing we want to do and that is set up the camera to be the best quality you want it to be. So when you go to the Samsung camera, this is how, again, it will look like. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to start off by hitting the settings button right here. And then we're going to turn picture stabilization off. Picture stabilization you only want on in a low light situation without a flash. Second, we're going to turn face detection on, and we're going to turn video stabilization on. After this, we're going to scroll up down, and I love to make sure that voice controls are on. It's just nice and easy to say capture, cheese, smile, or shoot, or record a video when you just want to record something very quickly. Now that we have that, the last thing we want to do is bring the flash right here because a lot of people like to turn the flash on and off very quickly and it's kind of hidden in the settings button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the flash right here and move it up to the top. And that's how we wanna set up our camera. Now most users will typically leave HDR on simply for the fact that it really does immensely help in any kind of outdoor or any kind of bright area. It just corrects the photo greatly and it gives the overall better impression. All right, that was how to set up and speed up your Galaxy S5 Active. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.